morning prayer on Friday. In the name of God the Father who made heaven and earth. In the name of God the Son who became a creature like us. In the name of God the Holy Spirit who sustains all life on earth. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Faithful Lord, whose steadfast love never ceases and whose mercies never come to an end, grant us the grace to trust you and to receive the gifts of your love, new every morning. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 139. God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there. Then up ahead and you're there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already there, waiting. Then I said to myself, oh, he even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light, they're all the same to you. Oh yes, you shape me first inside, then out. You form me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, you're breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvellous, marvellously made. I worship in abduration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit. How I was sculpted from nothing, into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you, the days of my life all prepared, before I'd even lived one day. Your thoughts, how rare, how beautiful. God, I'll never comprehend them. I couldn't even begin to count them, any more than I could count the sand of the sea. Oh, let me rise in the morning and live always with you. And please, God, do away with wickedness for good. And you murder us out of here. All the men and women who belittle you, God, infatuated with cheap God imitations. See how I hate those who hate you, God. See how I loathe all this godless arrogance. I hate it with pure and adulterated hatred. Your enemies are my enemies. Investigate my life, O oh God. Find out everything about me. Cross-examine and test me. Get a clear picture of what I'm about. See for yourself whether I've done anything wrong. Then guide me on the road to eternal life. John chapter 14. Don't let this throw you. You trust God, don't you? Trust me. There is plenty of room for you in my father's home. If that weren't so, would I have told you that I'm on my way to get a room ready for you? And if I'm on my way to get your room ready, I'll come back and get you so you can live where I live. 
and you already know the road I'm taking. Thomas said, Master, we have no idea where you're going. How do you expect us to know the road? Jesus said, I am the road, also the truth, also the life. No one gets to the Father apart from me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him. You've even seen him. Philip said, Master, show us the Father, then we'll be content. You've been with me all this time, Philip, and you still don't understand. To see me is to see the Father. So how can you ask, where is the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you aren't mere words. I don't just make them up on my own. The Father who resides in me crafts each word into a divine act. Believe me, I am in my Father and my Father is in me. If you can't believe that, believe what you see, these works. The person who trusts me will not only do what I'm doing, but even greater things, because I, on my way to the Father, am giving you the same work to do that I've been doing. You can count on it from now on, Whatever you request, along the lines of who I am and what I am doing, I'll do it. That's how the Father will be seen, for he, for who he is in the Son. I mean it. Whatever you request in this way, I'll do. So as we bring our prayers to the Father, through the Son, by the Spirit, help us to request in this way that God's kingdom come, God's will be done in our world. God's kingdom come, God's will be done in our nation. God's kingdom come, God's will be done in our communities and congregations. Lord, teach us to pray for our requests along the lines of who you are and what you are doing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God, in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. May your peace and freedom sustain our hopes and be realised on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb, release us. From the harm we inflict on others, forgive us. In times of temptation and tre test, strengthen us. When trials seem too great to endure, support us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. God of wonder, go with us into this new day. Speak to us, refresh us, astound us, that we may grow to love you and your world more deeply. Amen.